Prince Alexander explore more of the land of the dead. We um, managed to find our way down here last time, met the king and queen, and tricked our way past the security up front. So now we're looking for the lord of death himself, so that we can get all three of our souls back up to the surface. Okay, so I do believe if we drop in here, we will also die. So just for the heck of it, because you all know I like to. So just for the hell of it, because we got him. What happens if we just walk off the edge? Alexander slips off the path and plunges into the river Styx. As soon as the water touches his skin, Alexander's mind and body go numb. He sinks like a lifeless stone. Oh, oh we do this again? Okay. Ticket. Oh. Did you all know that Next. this whole time there's been a spirit that drops off the ticket to the Hey, guy hey, front? what a fix. Bathing in the river sticks. Um, there's like a spirit, there's a, like a spirit that flies past, drops off a ticket for this dude so that you can hand it to that guy. So you don't even get the ticket from before, you get it from here. What gives, right? Anyway, so, obviously, just because I needed to see that and see that dumb pun, um, we're back in. Moving right along, there seems to be a guy over here. Apparently, Alexander's not the only one who's curious about the body on the path. Uh-huh. Okay. A knight's remains lie abandoned on the path. What is the that? knight, like Alexander, must have been alive when he entered the underworld. But for some reason, he never reached his destination. Alexander wonders if this is the knight the druid spoke of. Oops. The knight is wearing an old, tattered ribbon. It must have once meant much to him as a sign of his lady's favor. Okay. The knight is wearing one black gauntlet. There appears to be some writing on the gauntlet, but Alexander can't quite make out what it says. Well, I mean, very clearly we need the to The ribbon both. is so old, it would crumble at Alexander's touch. Well, I guess not, but maybe this? Alexander takes the knight's black gauntlet and examines the writing on it. Mm -hmm. Flesh may cross the portal and seek its master death. Flesh may go where death is trod and challenge like Scheherazade, he who reigns beneath the sod to spare a mortal's breath. Mm -hmm. Sounds, that sounds serious. Indeed it does. But I guess that means we can challenge death with that glove. Right along very carefully so as not to fall off this path again. I think we actually literally have to go very carefully. Um, there we go. So we need some of that sticks water, right? Hello. Now, if you know your Greek mythology, wait a second. Could I get sticks water? It has to just go in the cup, right? Alexander doesn't want to experiment with the organic surfaces of the underworld. They might not like it. But when do we get... Okay, wait, let me go back. Oh, it's way too far. Right. Alexander will have to get a little closer to the river Styx in order to collect some river water in that teacup. Maybe... Alexander doesn't want to experiment with the organic. You just told me. Alexander to will have to get a little closer to the river Styx mm -hmm. in order to collect some river water in that. Hi. We shall move you on along. Right. Now, if you 
know any Greek mythology? You have to give two coins to Sharon in order to cross the River Styx. So, luckily, we had collected some when we were in the catacombs. Although, I'm, you know I'm tempted. I am so tempted. I know this might like annoy people, but to be honest, I really love seeing him die and getting the stupid funds. So, we're gonna replace Swapolis. I must see the Lord of the Dead. Mm -hmm. Please, let me ride across the river Styx on the ferry. Charon apparently has rules as strict as those of the skeletons at the underworld's entrance. Alexander is not getting on that boat until he gives Charon the appropriate fare. Exactly. Gotta give the money. Will Keep these it. coins do as fare for passage? There we go. Sharon accepts the fare and waves Alexander onto the boat. Let's go across now. Aww. I like that, you know, Sharon doesn't like mind. It's like, yeah, I'll take a live human, it's cool. We are close enough now. Alexander would love to get some River Styx water in that teacup, but there's no access to the water from this side of the River Styx. <sighs> Do you mean I missed it? Oh, I'd be so upset. doesn't want to experiment with the organic Come on. The, oh my Alexander scoops a little of the river sticks into the teacup with the swamp ooze being careful not to get any of the black water on his skin good good boy we got it all right all right we're okay now that should be everything we need except the paintbrush Okay, great. Now we can pay up. Let's go talk to the best. Okay, here we go. Mr. Charon, sir. Will these coins do as fare for passage? Yes. Charon accepts the fare and waves Alexander onto the boat. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Cool. Thanks. Bye. Even no other way for us to turn back now. <laughs> I guess is what this means. Also, I assume that this is like the belly of the wheel moment of, you know, this whole story. Which is why this short path is like really jumping ahead. You know? The full story, you've got to like... Save before we go in here. <laughs> so, I believe he is right beyond this door. Alexander reaches out to open the gate. Suddenly, the wood trembles beneath his fingertips. Wait, what? Oh my goodness! Hello! What touch has 
has awakened my sleep. Uh, you wanna... I smell the blood of a mortal. Yeah? Reach out thine hand again, fleshy human, that I might devour it. Well... It has been centuries since I last ate. I mean, I guess since you're so hungry and I love watching Alexander suffer, I guess. Sure? <laughs> I saved her. <laughs> Alexander decides to try to force the gate open. Nom nom nom. Oh my goodness, all of us. It it just eat all of us. <laughs> you could have just had a peck on my hand, man. How did we get back here? Ticket. Oh. Oh, what a waste. <laughs> Next. Mm -hmm. It must have been love at first bite. Yes, indeed, Mr. Narita. Love at first bite. <laughs> okay. Well, that was delightful because I never got to see that. So, um... I guess, uh... Maybe we just look at the this door first. The large wooden gate at the end of the path is closed. Okay. Then I... I guess we gotta... We gotta... Touch him. <laughs> Alexander reaches out to open the gate. Suddenly, the wood trembles beneath his fingertips. Hi, we're back. Dramatic. What touch has awakened my sleep? I smell the blood of a mortal. Reach out thine hand again, <laughs> fleshy human, that I might devour it what if it has been centuries since i last ate <laughs> what if instead we just have a nice chat despite his fear alexander summons his bravest voice to command the living gate yeah open up i open would says pass me. gate i have business with your master <laughs> my master and thine human I would be pleased to introduce thee. <laughs> Only step forward and thou shalt meet him shortly. <laughs> no. no, thank you. I come to meet the Lord of the Dead with my flesh still intact. Yeah. And why should I let you pass, human, when I would much rather eat you? <laughs> I have been told that there is a way for humans to enter death's realm. There must be something I can do. Some task that will allow me to pass through your doors, Gate. Yeah. Hmm, I seem to recall something. <laughs> a trick. Uh, perhaps um, a test. Oh. Hmm. Ah, yes. Okay. Should a human try to pass... A riddle is Gates won't to ask. Ooh, riddles, okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> a riddle it is, then. Yes. And if thou wouldst fail to answer Gate, his thirsty jaws will be thy fate. Fair enough. Agreed. <laughs> Listen as though it meant thy life then, human, okay. for it surely does. My first is foremost legally. My second circles outwardly. My third leads all in victory. My fourth twice ends a nominee. My whole is this gate's only key. My first is foremost legally. My second circles outwardly. My third leads all in victory. My fourth twice ends a nominee. My whole is this gate's only key. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um. Right. This is a riddle. <laughs> okay. Alright, so. From the thing that they've just given us here. This is a keypad, so it's a word, right? Okay. My hole is this Kate's only key. 
so I think it's a word um, with four because it says first, second, third, fourth, right? So there's four letters in the word. Okay. So I mm, okay. My first is foremost legally. My second circles. as well there were two times that we saw words and it, it has to be it has to be love because we did get remember there was this the book that we treated um it was with the bookworm where there was a a piece of a scrap of a book from the um the riddle book there was a book, the book that we treated in, which was a rare book, which was a riddle book, and the riddle book had a torn page, but we found a piece of a torn page which had the word love on it in the spider's web, way back in the Isle of Wonder, and if it was a riddle book, and this is the riddle, this would be the riddle torn out of the page. Ah, okay. With confidence. I want to try... <laughs> I've already seen the death sequence for like this. I shouldn't try to fail, should I? The only other um, four letter word that I can think of was Zephu that we found in a castle, but we wouldn't have found that if we didn't do the short path. So we're not supposed to know that word exists. So it has to be the only other four letter word this game has ever given us, which is love. So, oh, besides the ones for the crypto bug. So, The answer is love. Mm -hmm. ah, thou traitor of the mortal plane, how didst thou guess love? That riddle should never have been solved. Love is unknown in this realm. Well, love I mean... cannot be banished, even from this place. There are spirits still pining of it on the surface above. Still less can it be banished from my heart. Hmm. Enough! <laughs> Burden me not with thy poetry. <laughs> Pass through and quickly before I change my okay. mind. Sure. Gotcha. stand silently at the head of the path to his throne. We're not going to talk about the shape of what they look like, so we're just going to walk straight past them. Alexander approaches the throne of the Lord of the Dead. Oh, oh they're, they're coming with? Okay. <laughs> Hi! Why have you entered? 
entered my domain, still wearing your flesh. Oh, if God. you are so anxious for death, you might have found it easily enough in the land of the living. Oh, trust me, we did. <laughs> but since you are here, you are most welcome to stay. Kiss my hand, and you will be one with the spirits. There will be no pain. Oh, that's real kind of you. But, um, no. We actually came to talk to you about boon, something else. My lord. Why should death grant you anything, mortal? Oh, duh. Alright, um, <clears throat> I forgot. We were told something with this gauntlet. Because if you want to challenge death, you gotta throw down a gauntlet. I did not come here to die, but to demand my right of challenge. Yeah! I respectfully challenge thee, death, by throwing down this gauntlet. <laughs> Man may pass the portal and seek its master, death. Man may pass where death has trod and challenge like Scheherazade, he who reigns beneath the sod to spare a mortal's breath. He has the gauntlet! Impossible! <laughs> he challenges death. Who are you to challenge death? A man of flesh is all I need to be, my lord. And what is it that you seek with this challenge? The soul of some dead maiden? Actually... I seek the souls of King Califim and Queen Alaria of the Land of the Green Isles. Yeah, those two. You would save two human souls and emerge alive from this realm yourself? Yup. That shall be a difficult challenge indeed. Mm -hmm. The tomb does not open its doors lightly. Either all three of us leave, or none go. <laughs> Very well. Then let me think of an appropriate task. Ah, yes. I have it now. Your challenge is this. For thousands of years, I have sat upon this throne. I have heard every sad tale that can be told by human lips. I have seen tragedies that ended empires, injustices that defy reason, love that would like the very stars turn cold and hard. I have seen torments that cannot possibly be born, and yet must be for centuries. This thing I have never done. I have never shed a tear. Make me cry, thou man of flesh. That is my challenge. Make death cry? Sooner could he turn sea to stone, or fire to ice. centuries of not crying have you seen for yourself what you have become if your existence has been all that you say it has then truth alone shall be my sword the mirror's surface swirls with darkness for a moment then fills with images even blacker Reflections of despair, of wailing souls, of shackles colder and more immutable than any forged by man, of a world of thirsts that can never be quenched. Alexander feels the mirror tremble in his grasp and is glad that he cannot see its face. But the Lord of the Dead is transfixed to the mirror, to the screening of his life. Things long forgotten are once more uncovered his enslavement to this throne while still a man, the years of watching misery and horror and growing ever more numb to it, the seep of his own humanity, 
the slow growth of a new thing altogether, which became that which he is now. His is an existence that has no possibility of redemption, no end. The surrounding spirits draw away in pain. The truth is so sharp it stabs, so intense it sears. <gasps> Take it away. Make it stop. The mirror of truth cracks from the strain, and death sheds a single gray tear. Truth is indeed a terrible thing. I have worn this mantle for so long, I had forgotten its dreadful weight. You shall take the souls and leave as I agreed. You have been granted to stay from this inevitable reality. I almost envy you. Find the souls he has claimed and bring them to me. King Calafim and Queen Alaria, I presume. Your hero has won you a few more years of mortality. May your souls be more prepared for their rest when you return. Thank you, my lord. I hope that they will. And you, man of flesh. My steed shall take the three of you back to the land of the living. Tell her where it is you wish to go. Hey, who needs one? Can you all see? Until we meet again, then, mm. I assure you, we will meet again. Yes. No offense, my lord. But I hope that will be many long years from now. It is never as long as you might wish, mortal. Now, be gone. Yes, my lord. Are you coming, Majesty? El Hazred's treachery must be handled carefully, Alexander. Mm. Alari and I must go gather our allies and form a plan. Mm -hmm. Watch over Kasima. Make sure she comes to no harm. We will return as soon as we can to take back all that has been stolen from us. I will keep her safe until your return. <laughs> Thank you, son. Your love for our daughter must be deep indeed for you to have undertaken death itself for our sakes. Indeed. May we succeed in what awaits us and live long together as a family. <laughs> Hear that? We got a stamp of approval from the in-laws. Alright, and that is why I love this game so very much. That entire scene talking to the Lord of Death, it is my favorite thing about this whole game. That it just makes everything right for me. It has a very special place in my heart. So, um, I think this is a good place here to stop. Just before we continue to on our rescue mission to save the princess, we have a few things to prepare, I believe. Until then.